In this video, we'll discuss trismus or lockjaw, bruxism, jaw jerk, and strychnine poison. So, what's trismus or lockjaw? Trismus is bilateral tonic spasm of masseter muscle. And what's bruxism? It's a teeth grinding. And what's rhesus sardonicus? Rhesus sardonicus is the facial grimacing, a spasm of the facial muscles that occur in tetanus and strychnine poisoning. So, what are the causes of trismus? Most common causes of trismus are tooth disorder like alveolar impact impacted third molar and removal of the wisdom teeth and temporomandibular joint disorder like infection, inflammation and arthritis. Tetanus is the most dangerous cause of trismus or lockjaw. Tetanus is caused by a neurotoxin tetanospasmin produced by Clostridium tetani. Masseter is the first muscle to be affected in tetanus. The other cause is tetany. So what should be the serum calcium label tetany to occur? The serum calcium is less than 7 mg per 100 ml in tetany. Normal being 9 to 11 milligram per DL. There is a spastic paralysis and asphyxiation due to laryngeal spasm. What are the drugs that cause trismus? The drugs that cause lockjaw are phenothiazine derivative and metoclopramide. The other cause is strychnine poisoning. Next topic is bruxism. So what's bruxism? It's a teeth grinding. Why is it due to its psychological factor, stress and anxiety and may occur during sleep or in awake state. Benzodiazepine may be helpful. So what are the causes of bruxism? Malaline teeth, use of the drug, antidepressants and neuromuscular disorder may cause bruxism. What is the personality type in bruxism? Aggressive, competitive or hyperactive. What are the complications of bruxism? Pain, muscle hypertrophy, teeth fracture, loss of teeth, chipped enamel and joint problem. Next topic is jaw jerk. Jaw jerk. What are the afferent and efferent roots of the jaw jerk? Afferent and efferent. Both roots are from the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. The mandibular division is the only division which is the mixed nerve which has both sensory and motor parts. The sensory division of the mandibular nerve carries the impulse to the motor nucleus of the trigeminal nerve and the efferent part of the mandibular division brings back the impulse and what does it cause it causes contraction of the mass mandibular trigeminal nerve develops from the first branchial arch and supplies the muscles developed from the first branchial arch that is the muscles of mastication but there are other muscles which are also supplied by the mandibular division so how do you test the jaw jerk place the finger horizontally between the lower lip and lower border of the mandible in the midline and tap it with the hammer normally a slight jerk is felt but in upper motor neuron lesions this jerk is brisk next topic is the strychnine poisoning so how does the strychnine poisoning occur it caused by the Crushed Nux vomica seed, not by the whole seed, is used as a pesticide and it has a low protein binding. That is why it causes acute symptoms. It is used for assassination purposes. So what does it do? Estrychnine inhibits glycine receptors in the spinal cord and brain. So what's glycine? Glycine is the inhibitory neurotransmitter mainly in the spinal cord but also in the brain. Where is it found in the spinal cord? It is found in the inhibitory cell which are called the Renshaw cell. Where are the Renshaw cells? Renshaw cells are present in the anterior horn cell. What are the other two cells in the anterior horn cells? They are alpha and gamma neurons which are excitatory. But these Renshaw cells are inhibitory. So inhibition of the inhibitory neurotransmitter leads to excitation. How does it cause nephrotoxicity? The nephrotoxicity caused by strychnine is due to rhabdomyolysis. In rhabdomyolysis, excessive toxic amounts of myoglobin are released which damage the kidney. There are two phases of the poisoning, an excitatory and a depressive phase. In excitatory phase, there occur seizures, convulsions, muscle contraction. And how does the death occur? Persistent contraction of the diaphragm leads to death. What are the sign symptoms of strychnine poisoning? Dryness, dry mouth, dry skin, dilated pupil, diplopia, dehydration, and delirium. Other features are tachycardia, mania, convulsions and hallucinations. Severe convulsions may cause opacitonous attitude and rhesus sardonicus. Strychnine poisoning is the most painful condition uh, and person remains conscious. What happens in depressive phase? There is deep sleep, coma and respiratory depression leads to death. Death occurs in one to two hours.